hey guys welcome to my channel live that life I don't know why this video looks so dark but it's raining here in um, Illinois um, and it's October we are having some strange w weather here in uh, Illinois here it is October and when I tell you it feels like it's May outside <laughs> kid you not but anyway, um, oh, I wish you guys can really, can't really see. Okay. So, I, how can I put this? I'm not going to say the person's name. I'm not going to put them out there. Um, or the situation in which I know them. Um, because of privacy. It has nothing to do with um, me being scared or anything like that. I'm just going to respect the person. Okay. Um, I know a person that is Jehovah's Witness. And I've never been the type of person that needed to be led. I never wanted to join groups and be the popular person. Uh, I always felt when you're around too many people, it's when you have too much drama. If I liked you, I liked you. If you want to be bothered with me, fine. If you didn't, fine. Whatever, you know. But anyway, um, I know this person. She's a Jehovah Witness. And, you know, when I first met her, she was saying about how every time she mentioned that she's a Jehovah Witness, you know, people will either get defensive, leave her alone, or whatever, or say nasty things. I'm not like that. I find the beauty in everybody and everything. If you are, I don't care what religion you are, I respect your religion because I can find good in anything. Uh, I'm not a religious person. The reason why I'm not a religious person is because to me, religion is man-made. There is nowhere in the Bible where it says you're supposed to join a religious group. Nowhere. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. If you believe in God and you believe in God, God is in everything and God is inside of you. And what I don't like about religion, religion is that um, it contradicts itself. Um, it's always a bunch of women. 90% of the population to whatever religion is mostly women because women and I ain't gonna say all cuz I ain't one of them but women are led by emotions and you got some men that's the same way when they tell you men is not led by emotions that's a lot I've seen it with my own eyes too many times but for the most part, it's women. Go in any church, and I guarantee you, the women are going to outpopulate the men. It's always been like that. Um, I know a lot about Jehovah's Witness and how they got started, and I'm going to say that for another video. But I'm a firm believer that whatever group, what organization that you join, regardless if it's religion or whatever, always do your own research. Do not go by the words of the people that's in there. Go do your own research on your own because, see, people will put sugar on shit and make it smell and sound sweet until you get knee deep in it and it's hell to get out of. So, anyway, make a long story short, she was showing me this video. She doesn't have, like, her family not Jehovah's Witness. And so she doesn't have anybody that would study with her. And so she was like, oh, let me show you this video. This is what I I don't want to be mean to her. And I celebrate everything with people, okay? But it, it seemed like to me Jehovah Witnesses, they are now they are not allowed to think on their own. And so they come to you in a slick way. I'm not gonna say all of them because I have met one. Don't witness that I really did like I did like her. I really really did when I was younger. 
she didn't force her religion on nobody she didn't sit there and want to argue she understood where you came from but then you got those who it's like what i like about your witnesses is when you try to explain your point of view it's okay for you to respect them but when you trying to tell them how you feel about things they want to shut you up or get loud and the only reason why i couldn't snap out the way I really want to snap out is because of the situation. Um, she showed me this video. And they show these, they have these videos where they play on people's emotions and different things like that. So they have this, this um, video about, um, it's called uh, Being Loyal. Okay, so it was a video, and it was basically talking about this girl. Now, you don't know, according to the video, you don't know if it's um, a teenager or, or a, young, a young adult. Okay, basically, this girl fell in love with this guy, and she wanted to be with him. I guess he wasn't a Jehovah Witness, because if it was a Jehovah Witness guy, then it would have been okay. See, this is the, this the contradictory in the stuff. So the guy wasn't Jehovah Witness. So I guess if he was a Jehovah Witness, it would have been okay. But he wasn't Jehovah's Witness. And she left home. Because they got she got into an argument. And they was like, well, you got to follow rules. And, you know, and basically she left home. And um, as the years went by, they showed the mother going in, the mother and father going into the room. And, oh, they so disheartened. But when they do the call, they won't answer the phone. So, go in front of you, mine. Mommy, I want my child. You want to punch me for your tablet, and you know that. Go up front and close my door. Thank you, poo-poo. Thank you, mama. Um, that's my baby. <laughs> she mad, and I don't care. So, anyway. <laughs> um. Basically, they wouldn't answer her phone. Because she ran off to live with this guy they never explain what happened they this is this is the crazy part they never explain what happened between her and the guy or nothing like that they just said that she's standing by the sink and they showing her time oh she's gonna go home and this person i know asked well how uh well how do you i mean what do you feel about this video uh what um i was like i really don't have an opinion about it she was like oh i know you i said i'm gonna be honest i said respect your religion but i i, I ain't feeling it and I looked her straight in the eye when I said, I ain't feeling it. I said, because as a mother, I ain't never finna get rid of my child or not talk to my child because of what the hell a damn organization or a religion say. There's no way in the Bible, there's nowhere in the Bible where it's talking about you supposed to get rid of your family because they don't think or act or do what the Bible said does. It does not say it. The Bible, when they talking about shunny, they was, it was a, something in the Bible about some man and a son and somebody slept with somebody. Okay? And yeah, it says that you're not supposed to be around people with who have bad behaviors. We all know that we all grown. But at the same time, if you that easily influence like a kid... It's something mentally wrong with you up here. Because, honey, I have been around some crazy folks. And I still ain't never done nothing that they have done. But I would never. Because like I told her, this is what I told her I said in the video. If she's grown and she wants to chase up after a man, that's her business. I got three daughters. And if my daughters decide they want to leave my house... To start a new life with a man, that's their business. They are grown. I can give you some advice and, and show you uh um some some pimp game so you won't get pimped by no man or nobody else for that matter. But I'm never finna cut off communication because we don't see eye to eye. There's nowhere in the in the Bible that God says that. And let me tell you something. My cousin told me, she said this. And this is some true, some true shit that I have ever heard in my life. She said, if you don't know how to manage yourself and your life, somebody going to do it for you. My mama said, you supposed to be the head and not the tail. You supposed to be a winner and not a loser. 
you don't sit up there and let somebody else control you. You're supposed to already know how to control yourself. People worship these organizations. You are not supposed to worship a religion. You're supposed to uh, worship God. How are you telling on other people? How are you telling on yourself? And I'm 40, I'm about to be 42 years old on the 19th of this month of October. I ain't never finna go to another person in nobody's religious nothing and tell on my damn self. You don't pay my light. You don't pay my gas. You don't pay my water. You ain't my man. You ain't my daddy. You ain't even my family. I don't have to answer to you. Who the hell are you? And I don't understand it. I really don't understand. They got them people out there and they walk in these streets passing out pamphlets and all type of stuff to get people to join them. This is 2017. People know about Jehovah Witness. People know about Baptist. People know, know about being a, 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 a Muslim. Any religion that you can possibly think of, people know how to find it. You don't have to be walking up and down the dog on streets. Then for you to teach people, oh, you're not supposed to go to college and all that type of crazy stuff. See what it is. They don't want you to open up your mind. They want to control you like a slave. See, there's you have different types of slavery. That's what people need to understand. And the only time people want to join these religious groups is when things in their life don't go right or when they, they have done too much stuff that they ain't got no business. See, God has already forgave you. Jesus came to bring about love and forgiveness and understanding. And your witness, they don't show that. Because anytime that you can break up families, that's a b abuse. And how do you sit there and call yourself a mother or a father and a grandmother or a grandfather, uncle or cousin, brother and sister, and if they say, oh, you ain't living right, you can't be with your family? Who the hell is you? Because let me tell you something. At the end of your life, the only thing you got is your family. And when you ain't even got your family, you still got Jesus. Or whatever you believe in, you still you still got that. You don't answer to no man. The one thing I do believe is this. Is that you're supposed to treat people how you want to be treated. And I feel so bad. And I feel, I mean, I feel horrible for these people who are suffering in these types of organizations and religious groups. I feel bad for you guys. Because that ain't love. Love don't come with condition. It's unconditional. I'm going to make a series of videos. Because the more I'm learning, the more it's, just, it's disgusting. It is downright disgusting. I love my kids. And it ain't nothing on this earth they can do to make me stop loving them. They piss me off at times. Sometimes I'm like gone somewhere. But when they need me, I'm there. But to shut them up, I ain't doing it. I don't answer to no man. Or no woman. Or no organization. I answer to God. And I ain't got to run and tell none of my business to nobody. I'm going to make, like I said, I'm going to make more, you know, videos about this. As I'm learning more and more, being around certain people. But this got to stop. This got to stop. This ain't God. You can't make me believe this is God. It's a damn shame that these that that these organizations are using people. They don't want you to think on your own. See, to think means the truth is gonna eventually come out. They don't want that. Think about it.